I'm William Poet. I'm president of 9Q Consulting and Education. And today's training, we're going to look at one simple concept that can dramatically improve your team's engagement, productivity, and how you attract and retain talent. So thank you for joining me. Um, at 9Q, we are energetic intelligence specialists. We provide organizations with the human solutions you need for sustained productivity and profitability. And, and I would just want to, I want to touch on this for a moment as we get started. You know, we look at leadership and we talk about culture and, and um, time management and productivity issues and, and, and creating strategic levers to move our teams and our organizations forward. We don't talk about people. But at the end of the day, it is men and women, it is inspired, motivated, and aligned men and women that will determine the success or failure of your organization, your company, and ultimately your effort. So that's really what we're here to talk about. And why? Why do we avoid it? Why, why do people struggle with the human component? Because it's messy and, and it's imperfect, as are we. But as leaders moving into Industry 4.0, as we move into this new decade, you must recognize people are going to make the difference. AI is going to become more prevalent. Automation is going to become more prevalent. And so our ability to connect with, to align and engage our teams is what's going to determine how successful we are as leaders and how successful our companies are. And a couple numbers just to kind of get you engaged in this process. Uh, in a Gallup poll, a global Gallup poll, it was determined that 68% of employees are disengaged at work. Think about that. 68, 7 out of 10 employees are disengaged. And if any of you are old enough to remember the old manual transmission, you know, we're driving along. When you disengage, you are removing the engine's capacity to drive the automobile. And when an employee disengages, they aren't doing anything creative. They aren't doing anything constructive. You know, surfing the web or being on Facebook isn't driving the mission forward. What's the economic cost of this? It's been estimated that for every $10,000 you pay an employee, you're losing $3,400 a year to them being disengaged. And so what else do we know about engagement? We know that highly engaged teams have a 51% greater retention. And moving forward, retaining and attracting talent is gonna be critical to your success. What else do we know about engagement? We know that highly engaged teams are 21% more profitable. That is a 21% increase to your bottom line. And so thank you for joining me. I, I have spent 25, 30 years as a human performance expert. I'm the author of the ABCs of Peak Performers. 25 years ago, I was a close quarter combat instructor. I had the privilege of serving members of special operations teams, SWAT teams, and, and these are individuals who are fully engaged. They are all in. No one half asses a mission. And so our goal at 9Q is to give you the tools you need to create an environment that aligns and inspires your people so that everyone, you, your stakeholders, your customers, your team, and your community ultimately wins. So what I want to share with you, and, and there have been tons of studies, and, and we need to honor and we need to recognize that millennials, right now they're 50% of the workforce. In 2025, they're going to be 75% of the workforce. And, and all I hear managers do is complain about them. And the fact is, the millennials have different value systems. They're not willing to slave for 30 years to get that gold watch. They want to be engaged. They want to work for companies that have missions. They want to be supported. They want to feel fulfilled. And so simple technique, simple concept I'm going to share with you that is an absolute game changer. And it's called co-creative alignment. Just go ahead and write that down. Co-creative alignment. How do I create an engaged winning team? Well, number one, See, the old day of command and control, and I tell you what to do when you sit down and do it, that's gone. That's the best way in the world to disengage your team. What we need to do is, number one, we need to create a vision that is compelling, a vision that is attractive. We need to define co-creative alignment comes from clarity. What does a win look like in our company? What does a win look like for our team? And the more clear you are, the easier it is to engage people because they can either choose, yes, I'm in or no, I'm out. But that's what we want. 
And then what we do, so we, we as the team leaders, we as the C-suite, we've created a clear, compelling vision. Now what we do is we've got to break that vision into strategic, high-value projects and targets. These are our quarterly, our monthly, and our weekly wins. And they need to be crystal clear. We all want to win. And one of the biggest causes of disengagement in burnout is a lack of clarity. And so instead of assigning projects and tasks. What we want to do is we want to respect the value and power of our team members. We are hiring good people. We are hiring smart people. So we know where we want to go. I, as a team leader, I'm going to sit down with my direct reports and we are going to, I'm going to guide the process, but together we are going to co-create. We're going to imagine the biggest win for our team, the biggest win for this team member in the next 90 days. What can they do when they are fully aligned? What can they do when they are fully engaged? And we're going to co-create that. And I promise you, as good as a project, as good as a target as you can create by yourself, when you engage and access the talents of your team, you're going to end up with higher vibrational, higher value projects. This is a critical component of what we teach at 9Q Consulting and Education. So, if you want to have more engaged team members, if you want to have bigger wins in your organization, think in terms of co-creating alignment. What's the word energy? Energy is simply capacity to work. And the capacity to work of our organization is going to be based on the talent, the education, the training of our team. That's part of it. But then how engaged are they? Are they showing up to work focused, prepared, knowing what a win looks like and enjoying the process? And so this is this one critical component that you can start using immediately when you sit down with your team members tomorrow, when you sit down with your team members today, and you're looking at the actions they're taking. The actions need to be attached to targets, which are attached to projects, which are aligned with the global goal of your organization. And so I hope you have found value in this quick training. If you are interested in becoming an organization that is powered by 9Q, an energetically intelligent team, we do an incredible basic training. It's a webinar. It's open to everyone in your program. And in 75 minutes, we teach you six high performance habits that will get your team feeling great, creative, inspired, and ready to win. And if you'd like more information about how to schedule a basic training for your organization, just click under this video or message me and say, William, teach me about how my team, how I can become powered by 9Q. I hope you found great value in this. For 25 years, I have served the best teams the best leaders on earth. At 9Q, we are committed to providing the human solutions you need to have increased impact and sustainable profitability. On behalf of my boss, Dr. Lara Ciel, and our team of 9Q leaders all over the world, thank you. And remember, at the end of the day, it's people. It's this human dynamic that is going to determine whether we win, whether we lose, whether we show up and perform in joy, or whether we are burnout and detached. So that's it. I am William Poet, president of 9Q Consulting and Education. If you want to learn more, if you want to have a solutions call with me, reach out under this video, private message me, and let's get your team started today. That's it. Now go make some great happen and boom.